Excel's VLOOKUP function gives us the ability to match up information to a table. In this particular worksheet called VLOOKUP Exact, we've got information in column A about various products. They're also defined by color and price and stock as we see in columns C, D, E, F, and G. And what we're trying to do in column H is to locate the department that's associated with each product. There's a master list over in columns K, L, and M. And what we'd like to be able to do is, viewing the information from column A, match up that information with what we're seeing in column K. And having done that, then pull out the department and the category. We want to know which department this product, Recycle Glass and Bamboo Dining Table Square, is located in. So we'll be using the VLOOKUP function. When you're using VLOOKUP, the table can be in a different worksheet, even in a different workbook, but it's certainly easier and more convenient if it's in the same worksheet. It makes checking the results more direct. As we try different variations on this, we can verify the results more easily. And to make this a bit more visible, what I'm going to do is to hide momentarily columns C through G. We really don't need these as we are looking up the data. So dragging across the columns and then right-clicking and choosing Hide. And also I'm going to make column H wider so we can see this a bit better. Also zoom in using the slider bar in the lower right-hand corner. I also want to show you a way to use a function that's going to be handy when you've possibly never used a function or maybe it's been a long, long time. Sometimes when you're creating a function, it's helpful to get help along the way. And you can do that if you click the FX button. It's just to the left of the formula bar, just below the ribbon. So I'm going to click FX. And what we see here ultimately, or what we could be seeing, are all the functions in Excel. Now, we might have used it recently, and it might appear in this list. We could track down this function by locating the appropriate category it's in. We could see all of them too, by the way. Look up and reference. Here's an alphabetized list of all of those kinds of functions. If you don't know the function's name, it's just going to take a bit longer. You're going to have to figure that one out. But we do in this case, so we'll slide down to VLOOKUP. Click it, we get a description of it. If we have time, we could click HELP on this function. But if we click OK, we're still within HELP mode here. And Excel will essentially lead us through the various arguments or parameters of this particular function. And you can move this title bar over and around. It'll help us build the function. You can see already what it's doing in cell H6. What's the lookup value? It's in A6. You can type it or click there. Where is the table that we're using? The table's in columns K, L, and M. And if we know for sure there's nothing else in that table, we can simply drag across the column letters like that. And as we let go, we see this indicator here. Column index number. Which column of that table has the answer that we're looking for? Well, we're looking for the department name, and it's in the second column of the table. Now, literally, that's in column L. We don't put in the letter L, though. We put in the column index number. The next entry might be a little strange at first. Range lookup. The description below gives us an idea of what that might mean. Range lookup is a logical value, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to use an exact match. Therefore, we put in the word false. Now, you wouldn't exactly guess that. You can put in the word false. You can put in the number zero. Either one will work. If you're not looking for an exact match, if you're using a numerical lookup, you wouldn't worry about this argument at all. But we do need to use it in this case to indicate we need to find that text entry from A6. We have to match it up perfectly with the column K entries. Click OK, and there's our answer. Furniture. Let's drag this down a few cells. We want to make sure that it seems to be working and check out just a few of these here and there with some of the results over in column K to verify it. Each one of these entries, I'll double click on just one of them here, has the same general look. Of course, we're looking up information from a different cell in column A, but we're always using columns K and M. We're always trying to get our answers out of the second column. 
and the word false indicates that this needs to be an exact match. Similarly, in column I, we want to do almost the same thing, but here we need to get the information out of the third column. Now, in a strict sense, going back to what we did in column H, we didn't really have to refer to column M there, but it didn't hurt, nothing wrong with it. We could have used L just as easily because we're only referring to the second column anyway. In column I here, this time we'll simply type it VLOOKUP, left parenthesis. What are we looking at? The entry from A6, comma, where is the table? Columns K, L, and M, simply drag across the column letters there comma, which column of that table has the answers now for category? It's the third column, comma. Do we need this to be an exact match? Here it says false, exact match. If you don't want to type false, you could click this, tab it into place, do it there. And although we don't have to specifically type the right parenthesis, Excel needs it by pressing enter that's there automatically. And here too, we might check out a few of these just to make sure that it's working properly and it appears to be. In both cases here, in the previous case and in here, we can simply double click the last entry after checking a few out to copy these down to the column entirely. And so we've got our list here of some 300 entries and we've used that table to find out the appropriate department and category for each one of these using the powerful VLOOKUP function to find an exact match.